Thank you first. Hey, what's up? Hello, my name's Claire, and I got something to say. So, I just spent the last 20, 30 minutes on YouTube watching videos about things I'm interested in and reviews of products that I might want to try for myself, and it dawned on me, kind of like a light bulb, that the people I'm watching, while they, some people seem to be giving their real opinion about things, they're not someone that I can relate to. I decided to take it upon myself to put out some content that maybe someone else in my shoes can relate to, and hopefully maybe I'll make a friend out of it, because Lord knows I don't have any friends. Well, I have, like, two friends. <laughs> I am a full-time college student. Even during the summer, I take summer classes. I work a full-time job. I have another part-time job. And I'm a busy person. So a lot of the things that I do aren't that great or exciting or Instagram-worthy. But uh, I feel like that's what a lot of people are doing. They're just hustling until they can get where they want to be. They're putting one foot right in front of the other and trying to get to the place where they can take the next step to live the life that they want to live. So enough of that. I'm going to take you through a week in my life and it's a little cray cray. So let's go. So it is 3.15. I'm getting ready to leave for work here in about 30 minutes. So I packed my overnight bag for work. My job does require me to do overnight sometimes, which is pretty cool. I just figured I would show you what I pack for an overnight. As a 21 year old, it's a lot different than what I used to pack for an overnight. Trust me, so well. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna have my clothes for tomorrow, just shorts and a t-shirt, because I have to go straight from work to class in the morning. I'm gonna make a bag. I may not wear any makeup tomorrow, I don't know. See how I'm feeling. I also have uh, my dry shampoo in here because I know I'm gonna need that tomorrow. So another thing that I always take with me, not even just to work, but everywhere, I always take snacks. If you're busy, it's easy to skip meals and or to forget to eat if you have a lot of stuff to do, which I always do. So taking all that stuff, I'm probably gonna sit on my couch with my kitty until Okay, it is about 9 o'clock. I didn't do anything today after class. Instead, I hung out with my roommate for a while because she's off work today, so we hung out and talked. I haven't seen her in a few days. And then I took a nap. I actually was planning on being productive, and it just didn't happen. I am super busy every day, and I have so much to do, and I'm hardly ever home, and I don't have time to do deep cleaning like I would like to, or to do all my laundry like I would like to, or spend time with my roommate like I want to, etc. And it can get really stressful sometimes when you are go, go, go nonstop and don't make time for yourself, and that's something that I feel like I don't do a lot of. I think it's really important to try to make time for yourself because it, it really can take a toll on you to make time for yourself. My roommate is going to be home in just a few minutes. We're doing a late dinner tonight. I'm going to go ahead and start prepping everything and uh, she'll be home here in a few minutes to help me finish everything up and then we're going to do a movie night also.
Good morning. It is Friday. It is National Donut Day. So I, it's 8.30 right now. I just got up and washed my face and everything like you saw. And I am going to go get some donuts because why not? I am in the line for Dunkin' right now, and there are so many people here. I'm coming up to the window, and I realize I don't have my wallet in my purse. I found a dollar and twenty, no, found a dollar and forty-five cents, so I hope this gets me a donut. <laughs> we'll find out. Welcome to Dunkin'. Hi, can I just do um, one classic donut, please? Yeah, what kind? Um, a glaze. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You too. Upon my retrieval of one glazed donut, I think I'm going to go home and just give it to my roommate because I told her that I was going to go get some and I asked her what she wanted and she told me she just wanted a glazed donut so um, I think I'm just going to go home and give it to her. I'm going to go ahead and finish out this part of the video. Um, I am at work right now, that's why I didn't see anything after I cleaned up this morning and did the dishes and uh, my room and everything. I got here at noon today and I will be here until 10 o'clock on Sunday because that's just the way that my job works. So obviously I can't film when I'm at work because I have a lot of other things to do, but I thought I would film this really quick so I can get it in there. Uh, so I will see you guys on Sunday night. It is 10 o'clock, or just about 10 o'clock. I left an hour early from work tonight because my boss is super great and told me I should go home, which is great. Normally I'd be getting home at 11 o'clock and it's 10, so I feel like I should be productive. Uh, tomorrow... I don't really have a whole lot to do. I do have my day pretty much planned out. I'll wake up, go to class, come home, do some homework. I have to do laundry and start packing because I'm going on a trip this coming weekend. So I need to get that taken care of. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. I got home from class a little over an hour ago. I folded some laundry that my roommate was super great and washed. Now I have to run to Ulta so I can get my face wash stuff uh, because I'm about to run out. I also have to go to Walmart to get a few things and then I have my chiropractor appointment. So another busy afternoon, but I did get to relax for a while today so that was nice. Let's go run some errands because we love doing that stuff. Thank you first.
I am finally home. It's 4.30. Uh, it was a long few hours. I figured I would go through and just show you what I got just because the rest of the video would be really boring if I didn't. I went to Ulta first and I got all of my skincare stuff. I used the Clinique three steps. So I used the liquid facial soap and the clarifying lotion, which is a liquid exfoliator, kind of like a toner. And then I also use the dramatically different moisturizing gel. I also got the seven day scrub cream from Ulta. It was a freebie. Then I went to Target because I needed some socks. I'm losing all of mine. Then I went to Walmart. Um, I got some lifesavers because I put those in my car while I'm Ubering, so people have some mint. And then I bought a tomato because I need one for what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. Some more eggs because I go through eggs really fast. Some spinach and some milk because ours expired today. And then, this is the best part, I have been wanting to buy these shoes at Walmart for so long. I saw this white pair and I wanted them so bad because they're so cute and they're only ten dollars and so like i said oh these were only five though did it say five dollars on my receipt oh my gosh these were only five what the heck okay so that was great so i got the all white pair and the all black pair and i only spent fifteen dollars i got laundry detergent too but no one cares about that today was a lot more relaxed day than yesterday because i was not at home yesterday at all i was really looking forward to watching the bachelorette today but stupid NBA is more important than that's all right, I guess. It wasn't on last night, so yay. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. I think the main thing that I want to be the takeaway from this is that there are real people living their normal lives, and not everyone has to be like you know, beauty influencers or social influencers, people that have tons of followers, etc. Big disclaimer. The point of this video is not to disregard the efforts and the work that it takes to be a famous YouTuber or a social influencer or whatever. Those people, that's their job. That's what they get paid to do. So obviously, I'm not trying to hate on them. I'm more gearing towards trying to create awareness about the fact that you don't need to want to have someone else's life. We are unique and individuals for a reason. We are not made to be a duplicate of someone else. Unless you're a twin, and then that kind of sucks. But you get what I'm saying. Something that is really important to me is not basing my self-worth off of social validation. So I think if you get anything from this video is that there are tons of people living normal lives, going to their jobs, going to school, running errands and doctor's appointments, taking care of kids, trying to make time for their friends, all that stuff. If you need to hear it, here it is. Don't worry about how many likes you get on a photo or how many followers you gain in a day or how many people slide up on your Snapchat story or your Instagram story or like your Facebook photo or whatever it is. You don't need any of that stuff. There are other people living their normal lives just trying to get stuff done. Take from it what you will. Uh, if you want to see more videos, Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, and I promise I won't lose any sleep over it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and maybe they're coming soon. So, thanks. See you next time. Because as a 20-year-old, I could eat McDonald's french fries every day, but that's what I'm talking I literally can't believe I don't have my wallet. If that is not the universe telling me that I don't need to be spending money on things that are not good for me, I don't know what it is. I'm an idiot. There's a car that just pulled up next to me and I don't, I feel so weird like looking at the camera and talking. It could look like I'm on FaceTime though.